afternoon you guys lovely outside absolutely beautiful i've finished for the week now uh putting too many hours as usual but these must today's plan is to try and uh make ourselves something better as a turbo gasket now these turbochargers, because they effectively they don't exist, the, the housings and things just aren't available, also means that there aren't any spares, which means there's no gaskets. Up to this point, I've been making gaskets and by um, uh, using a Neil's copper to get a good seal. Uh, it's been working, especially with the the um, Nordlock washers that I've been using and the, uh, the K-nuts, titanium K-nuts. But um, even then, this is what we ended up with, with regards to... The gasket before so i don't know if you can see that that is not round anymore the holes are elongated and the gasket itself has ended up um being pushed outwards between the bolt holes so this is this is as good as it gets with the setup i've got at the moment i've been thinking long and hard about how to uh, rectify the situation part of the reason is is that the the material is not strong enough when it comes to uh, high temperatures and in the, the high pressure pre-turbine environment. So as it heats up, despite there being clamping pressure, it because it's annealed, it's soft, it uh, yields under the clamp load, which means that the clamp load backs off and then it means that it can slide between the surfaces. I looked at wheels rings, which are a gas filled ring, which uh, are often used for sealing like this, but number one, they're very expensive. And number two, I can't actually find any in the right sizes I need unless I order a thousand of them. I don't need a thousand. So under Nard, <clears throat> copper works great as a seal, but it's not strong enough under heat. It needs some support. So what I've done is I bought some copper washers. Now, of course, this won't work because there's nothing supporting it. So what my plan is, is to cut a piece of stainless steel, which will be the same shape as the gasket. Then, have the hole in the center effectively holding a copper washer like this so that it doesn't need to have any um, tangential uh, strength all it needs to do is effectively anneal and it will push up against the stainless steel part of the gasket um, and hopefully seal this is the idea I don't know if it's going to work. I've never seen this done before. I mean, well, you can see two-part gaskets for head gaskets and things, but I've certainly never seen it done like this before for a turbocharger. But see if it works. Let's get making.
That's really blunt.
So this is where we've got to. Fits up nicely. The O-ring sits on the inside. It all lines up. It's all pretty, pretty straight. Uh, we've got 0.1 mil stand proud, which is what four thou. So we've got a little bit of compression on the washer, just enough to make it uh, pinch up, and that should then allow it to all seal up. Pretty pleased with that. Beautiful.